Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you're not a current subscriber, you know exactly what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you're going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So if you watch some of my videos in the past, you've seen that I have done a few reviews on SoFi products. Now SoFi is a company that has many different financial products. So they have checking and savings accounts, which I've most recently reviewed. They also have an investing account and they also have student loan and mortgage loan options. So specifically dealing with their investing account, they just offered a new feature with their investing account. So now with SoFi Invest, they have this thing called stock bits. Now with stock bits, it allows you to purchase fractional shares of stocks. So if you've seen a few of my other videos, I talked about M1 Finance, uh, Motif and Stockpile. Those are all platforms or brokerage accounts that you can use where you can actually buy stock without buying a full share. So if it's a company where their stock is $100 or $1,000 or $10,000, you know, whatever the price is, you can put whatever amount of money that you have towards that stock and you will purchase a piece of that stock. So you don't have to actually purchase the full stock. So with most brokerage accounts, your traditional ones like TD Ameritrade, Schwab, Fidelity, you're not able to buy fractional shares. Whatever company that you buy their stock, you have to buy that full share in order to own it. In addition to that, most of them charge you a fee for every transaction that you make. But now with SoFi Invest. SoFi Invest also has free trading, very similar to, again, M1 Finance, as well as Robinhood. But more similar to M1 Finance, you have free trading, and now you can also buy fractional shares. In addition to this new feature that StockBits provides for the SoFi Invest account is the fact that all of these accounts work together. So when you have a SoFi Money account, when you have a SoFi Invest account, or if you have one of their loan options, you can interact with all of those accounts within one application. So with SoFi Invest, again, there's no fees, there's no account minimums, and you can purchase as little as $1 worth of any stock that they make available. Now, the reason I say that the stocks that they make available is that for the stock bits option where you're purchasing fractional shares, currently there's only a list of 60 different stocks where you can actually do that. And that list includes uh, some of the big names you would think about like Apple and Amazon and Google, Facebook, big companies like that, as well as ETFs. So you have your Vanguard, uh, total stock market ETF, you have their S&P 500 ETF, and then you have SoFi's own proprietary ETFs. So in total, as far as ETFs, there are currently 10 available and the other 50 out of the 60 are all individual stocks that you can purchase. And you only have to put as little as $1 into any of those stocks or in, uh, ETFs and you can own a piece of that company. So this makes it really easy for people who are just getting started with investing. Uh, you can put just a dollar in and now you own a piece of whoever your favorite company is if they're one of those top 50 stocks. Now, of course, I recommend that most beginners, you start with purchasing a total stock market ETF or an S&P 500 ETF. That way you're investing in multiple companies. You don't have to worry about the risk of, you know, some business losing a lot of money, you know, for PR reasons or if they happen to go bankrupt. Those are things that you don't have to worry about as much when you're dealing with an ETF that has hundreds, if not thousands of different companies that are included within that ETF. So it lowers your risk when you're investing into the stock market. Be sure to check out one of my previous videos where I talk about the benefits of investing into an index fund versus picking individual stocks. A few other features that are available within SoFi Invest is that you can look at news dealing with the stocks that you choose to follow. You can also follow cryptocurrencies. Currently, they don't make cryptocurrencies available to purchase, but they do plan on making those available in the future. So stay tuned. Uh, once that is available, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably create a video to talk about any specific features that they have dealing with cryptocurrencies in the SoFi app. And now for a bonus. For anyone that doesn't have a SoFi Money or SoFi Invest account, 
or if you haven't set up the SoFi Invest side of the account because they all work within the same app, you can actually sign up for SoFi Invest. And once you sign up, if you use the link in the description, uh, we both will receive $25 as a bonus. So with SoFi Money, if you deposit a minimum of $100, they'll give you a $25 bonus. And so specifically for the SoFi Invest sign up bonus, when you sign up using my link, you'll get $25 towards a randomly selected stock. So one of the 60 stocks or ETFs that are available within the stock bits option within SoFi Invest, you receive $25 towards one of those stocks as a bonus for signing up and opening your SoFi Invest account. So make sure you check for that link down in the bio and set that up, set that account up if that's something that you're interested in. And if you want to know more about the SoFi money side where you have the checking and savings account, which actually gives you a pretty good interest rate at 2.25% currently, make sure you check out my video where I did the review specifically on SoFi money. So that's it for today. We talked about SoFi Invest and their new feature called StockBits, where you can now purchase fractional partial shares of stocks for as little as $1. This makes it really easy for new people who are just getting started with investing and you don't even have to put thousands of dollars into it. You don't even have to buy a full share. You have 60 different options to purchase $1 worth of stock and you can automate it so that way you can purchase it weekly or monthly without thinking about it every week or every month. It just automatically does it and takes it out of your checking account. So thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. You actually could have been doing anything with this time. So I, I really appreciate that. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for your time. Have a great day.